love alert. At the first moment of the lover's encounter, there's an affirmation of love. Psychological lunacy, emptiness, panic, delusion that the moment will last forever. I'm seized by desire. I hide behind my back. And post no answers. Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel once again. So this video is going to be a bit controversial. Before, I talked about hits. Now, I will talk about misses this year. Today, I will rank these so-called boring and snooze of fest songs given to us by our lovely friend, Navis9. Subscribe to him pleek. They have amazing taste especially with girl groups. He will also make his own video about the songs I think are snoozers of the year as well so make sure to watch that one too. Again, do not take this very seriously because we all have our own tastes and opinions. So without further ado, let's begin. Party on lockdown. I can't even finish listening to this one sorry, it just sounds like noise, and the bad kind of noise I fear, it makes me really wanna lock my doors down, when I hear this song. The song has something going on, it's kind of building up and there we arrive to another shouty noisy chorus like this is not how you do it right. This song is just like the previous song, the only difference is it's from the boys. And of course you people will let it grow on you once again, but I will not partake in that. The reason why it's a bit higher than the two is because of that intro. That whistle and instrumentation is a bit amazing. I thought they were gonna give us a second gen boy group dramatic music excellence, and then after those few seconds, yeah never mind. Of course, it will be a very bad noisy track again. We need Momo Land music back please. I already said my thoughts with this one. This cold've been an instant hit, but the high pitch shouting really bugs me and that's why it will never grow on me. I mean this song sounds cool, but I just can't finish the song because it's boring, sorry. But I'm sure a lot of people will still eat this up so. To be honest, this song has potential. Everything before the chorus is excellent. Everything before the generic 4th gen boy group beat drop chorus. At least they release good music now so yay. This song is cute, but boring. I feel like the song is very predictable. Oomph said it sounds like Thunder by Imagine Dragons and OMG how did I not hear that lol. It reminds me of another boring song this year, Thrilling Ride by the Boys. Yes I find it boring, and overrated too sorry. This is listenable, but maybe for just a single time. It's cute but I don't know, it sounds underwhelming as well. And this is, because you all hated the club hit dessert. Look, this will actually sound very good if the mixing in their voices don't sound so weird. Imagine if this was a From Us 9 song, it would sound very excellent. But I still don't listen to this song in full or daily, but it's kinda good, that's all. At first listen, I was like oh wow this is messy, but after listening to it more, I'm sorry everyone, I suddenly liked it, it's good and bearable pots and pans music to me, I love the Korean traditional instruments infusion, it grew on me so yeah it is somewhat good. Is this their worst title just like what you all claim? No, it might even be their best title. I don't understand why you all hate this song when it sounds very very good. No cause why is this even here? It's peak retro k-pop music methinks. To be honest, it kinda lacks more punch, but it's still amazing, and it doesn't even deserve to be called a snoozer. And of course, ballad haters, ballad and ties. what did we expect? It's cute and nostalgic, and I will always fall for songs, that makes me nostalgic. Yeah it is not their best title nor song and I don't listen to it often, but it's still good, and doesn't deserve a place in this video.
Um, why is this here? This is good boy group music and of course you all will choose to listen to other boring and bad releases. I might not listen to it often as well, but it's good. Like it's not even that bad and as bad as some of the songs I mentioned before. The second verses might throw me off, but I don't care. It's good. I just made a thoughts on Billy's debut video, and if you watched it, you already know what I'll say. It's good, great, amazing, excellent, impressive and everything. I don't care what you all think, it's amazing to me. And if you all don't get it then you don't get it. But if you get it then you get it. And wait, you all said Suayin is lucky to not debut in this group. Well look now, she's debuting for their first comeback. So you all need to be kind unlike what you showed back then. Because we're all in this together now. Stream Madonna by Luna, Inside by Kimbo and Tiki Taka by Tierra. And stay tuned for the upcoming on and off comeback, Gosa Bumps. That's all. Have a lovely day everyone. Thank you for watching.